Ah, uh, dear God. Okay, guys, welcome to the channel, and we are in election day. Yeah, fun. Okay, so it could go either way. Let me be completely honest and upfront about I don't care about much either one. I think they're very similar in many ways. In some aspects, of course, not so much. So, yeah, I get it if you're leaning more towards the what the young lady is wearing here. So, with that being said, yeah, before you freak out, let me just say the following. There is a very clear unhinged mentality from a certain camp, and that would be the Kamala Harris camp. In case you haven't figured out, it was not her that got not one, two, but three attempts on her life. It was Donald Trump. Why? Because of the crazy lunatics that you have on the left. So, in, in spite of what I really do believe in terms of how much real difference for some of the more delicate, complex if they, well, no, because these are all both. These both are have been vetted. They would not even be here if they haven't been uh, already uh, accepted by the elites. You know, APEC does its thing. You just don't get past that if you're not in the. <laughs> uh, let's just leave it at that, okay? But there is a difference. It is noticeable. I can see it quite clearly. So should you. And it is that these are very sick sons of bitches, like this gentleman here that told this young lady that she deserved to be erped. Yeah, I won't even say because YouTube, but you can read it right there. She deserves to be to this young woman because she was wearing a Trump shirt and Trump shoes. I have no idea who she is. Prominent conservative Emily Wilson was involved in a na nasty exchange. Yeah, MAGA shoes. He's upset. You've definitely been that. You deserve to be nothing. You do you, you blah 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 blah. Well, an insulting fucking lunatic, grown, but not just a grown ass man. No, this guy is actually famous. He's a big shot producer in where 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 else? In Hollywood. He's having West Hollywood. Well, Morgan was walking his dog. Of course, he was walking his fucking dog. There he is. So. This guy, apparently, Peter Morgan, 61, was one of the Hollywood hotshots behind the 2014 Bradley Cooper vehicle. Vehicle? It's a movie, American Sniper. Okay. So this dumb pile of shit. You're a fucking old man. You, 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 see, you see how people just being old does not make you wise? You are an old piece of shit. That's all you are. And for saying this to a young woman, he deserves to get his shit kicked out. The shit kicked out of him, basically. You deserve to get your sh face caved in. Just an opinion of mine. I think that if, if you told this to my daughter, you definitely would. If you told this to my wife, you definitely would. You are a scumbag for saying this to a young woman. There you are. What a piece of shit this guy is. But it's not a coincidence. And yeah, you could say, oh, well, just one drunk lunatic. Oh, no, he's like someone with certain influence in this <laughs> in this fear in Hollywood. Okay, yeah, Hollywood, bunch of weirdos. But what? She, she told him, you do. What a fucking lunatic. What a scumbag, right? There is a video, actually, but I cannot play it because it's happened to me before. If you play the video of these assholes, I am the one that get the hate speech shit from YouTube. So I cannot even play it. I can just, you know, tell you what it says. But there it is. This is the kind of people that votes for Kamala Harris. I'm sure there's a lot of bad people that vote for Donald Trump as well. I'm not saying otherwise. But there is a very clear trend in terms of the wacko fucking lunatics usually being more on that camp. Yeah, just one of those things. So if you ask me who is going to be empowered, emboldened, and feel the, the right to maybe go do these things themselves, given that he's such a fucking pervert, well, yeah, these people. So it would be nice to see them get their ass kicked in this, in this election. Yeah, just, again... Not much of a dog in this fight. I don't think it makes much of a difference. But on this thing, on this kind of stuff, on the cultural war, I think it does. And I think it matters. Guys, it's going to be all for now. See you on the next video. Take care.